It all started when I was sitting in my study working on some uni stuff. Now we've got a water feature outside the window and I looked up and saw something quite strange. What I saw was pretty interesting, so I grabbed my Canon R5 and ran out to capture some video. Here's what I saw. You know, I think that's actually one of the great things about living in Brisbane, or pretty much any Australian city, I think, because we've still got a lot of the natural environment throughout our cities. We still get possums on the back fence here, we still get frogs, the green tree frogs, we get the geckos, we get a lot of lizards, blue tongues, all kinds of things like that. When I saw the frog in the water feature here, it wasn't actually a surprise because they do like to come and swim around in the water feature. Um, but I actually thought this one was stuck there, and I was a little worried for it. But when it got out quite easily and just sat on top of the water flow with it coming up underneath it, I could see that it just liked the feeling of the water rushing over its body. So uh, hey, you know, uh, maybe this is Brisbane's first frog spa. But I thought it was a really great way to test out the Canon R5 camera because uh, I wanted to see how it did in shooting animals because it has this auto eye focus where you can set it for animals where it's meant to find the eye, lock in on it so it's always sharp on the eyeball of the animal. With frogs I found it didn't do a really great job actually. If you look at some of the footage I actually had to cut it short in a lot of places and just pick the best parts because the camera is often losing focus um, so it's obviously not designed for frogs. I tested it out just now on the dog that we're looking after at the moment and it locked onto his eyes effortlessly and without fail even when the dog was running around quite wildly. Did you down that? It, it works pretty well for dogs, not so well for frogs. But hey, you know, it's, I found one of the great things of the camera. And here comes Buddy again. Hey, Buddy. <laughs> okay, can you maybe go over there? I'm still doing my video, Buddy. I don't even remember what I was saying now. Oh yeah, so the, the autofocus maybe for frogs isn't so great, but one thing that I did really find great that you could have seen in the footage here is that 4K 120 frames per second video. That was nice and uh, it was really great to have that, you know, just slow down the flow of the water. So if you're thinking of, uh, you know, there's a lot of bad publicity around the R5, but I'm actually, buddy. <laughs> there's a lot of, pu there's a lot, buddy, buddy, buddy. You're not helping me, you know. You're not helping. Ah. Go, go, no, no, go away, go away. There's a lot of, you know, the R5 gets a lot of bad publicity, but in the time that I've been using it, you know, yes, the overheating is an issue if you're gonna shoot in 8K video, but that's not something, that's not something that I need to do. But uh, I find that actually as a camera, as a stills camera, it's great. And for video, there's so many great things about it still. So don't discount it completely. It's still a great camera to have and to use. Anyway, that's the end of it for me. If you're not already subscribing to this channel, this channel, you're gonna see a lot of stuff about Brisbane, a lot of stuff about photography, and a lot of other random things perhaps as well. Uh, just subscribe uh, so you don't miss any of the good stuff. And, oh, movie recording stopped, why? Let's see what happened. Hey buddy, 
What do you think of the frog? Did you see the frog?